Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another entry to my revisiting series where I revisit older games, specifically Resident Evil games. Currently going to uh, go back to Resident Evil Code Veronica. Oh, you skip with R3? That's crazy. Okay, we've got the classic handgun here. It's... Oh, it's square to confirm. That's so crazy. And circle to move around. I think there's an herb in here, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think this game would benefit the most. Out of every other Resident Evil currently, I think this game would benefit the most from a remake. Um, there, like I said, the reason why I'm saying that is because this game would look amazing in the RE engine. Uh, since, you know, it's not strictly uh, fixed camera angles, it's a combination between, you know, uh, a camera that follows you around and camera uh, fixed camera angles. Which, I am a huge fan of fixed camera angles, but I think this is a good compromise. If we want to have... I mean, this was their way of updating the graphics, basically, updating the game. At the time, this was the new gen of Resident Evil, and uh, Code Veronica was... Uh, a big leap forward when it comes to graphics. But yeah, this game takes place between uh, RE2 and RE4. It takes place after RE2 and 3 and before RE4. Uh... Oh no. You shouldn't be surprised, Claire, at this point. She's seen enough zombies. But yeah, this is an umbrella prison facility thing. Yeah, I mean, look at these cinematics. This was one of the biggest selling points of the PS2. Because they could do uh, cutscenes in the... with the system. Ah yes, the naked zombies. So keep in mind, this is Claire who survived Raccoon City. So this is Claire's RE4, basically. So if you think Leon's a badass in RE4, this is this is Claire's RE4. Yeah, I've been grabbed a lot. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not that great at uh, these controls. I am playing on a D-pad though. On the PlayStation 5. I'm not using the, uh... No. Ah, yes. Steve. The voice acting in this game is great. Wow! Do this voice. It's great. <laughs> I love it. And that's how Claire gets her uh, M9 Beretta. I think I think it's an M9, right? Yeah, the handgun. It's an M93R, an Italian handgun. Hey, it's me. All right, so check out one of my older saves here. So it looks like I was playing at the palace. Oh yeah, the palace. So, the palace, if you don't know, is much like the mansion or the RPD from Resident Evil 2 and, you know, the, and, you know, the mansion from Aria 1. But yeah, this music, man, this music takes me back so much. Just listen to it. It is the best save room music, by far. It is so good. It is by far my favorite. Ah yes, the Lugers. Two guns. There's evidence that the shelf has been moved. <laughs> there is evidence. Oh, nice. How did I remember that? 
the security lock has been unlocked. The ID card is no longer uh, useful. Would you discard it? Hell yeah. Okay, let's take a screenshot for the thumbnail. But yeah, this truly is like a blast from the past. I know it's gonna get old uh, hearing me say that. But honestly, if you haven't played the original uh, Resident Evils, like 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, Code Veronica. But yeah, I think this game would... It would be amazing. It would benefit so much from the fixed camera, from the uh, from a remake. Okay, hold on, let me do this. So thankfully, we don't have crimson heads in this one, so we can just kill everything, but or take damage. Everything works. That works too. So how do you aim? I think it's L1. There we go. Let's kill one of these guys. Or two. But yeah, you have you in the original games you have to shoot off screen most of the time to take out enemies. Which added to the difficulty. Which it might sound counterintuitive, but that's how I like my games. When they have you know, something that you could like difficulty should be skill based. Like dodging zombies, like I'm doing a terrible job right now. Not something that you can't do anything about, you know what I mean? Like, sure, there is the fixed camera angles problem, you know, you can't see enemies off screen, but if you know enemy placement, you can fight the camera angles and, you know, literally just, it It doesn't matter that you don't see the enemies, you know what I mean? That's, hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say, you know, you can improve at the game, even though the game is not perfected. Like, the game allows you to be, to adapt and, and, do a better job but uh, yeah so i want to keep this uh, video short i personally think resident evil 9 is going to come out before any other remake um the next remake is probably going to take place it's probably going to come out um in 2025 maybe uh, or late 2024 so I, I i would say it's a bit early to ask for another remake right now but it's good to have theories and you know expectations it's it's good to like video games so let me know what you think about it subscribe if you haven't already leave a like on this video if you want to see more uh if you want to see me play more resident evil games and uh, i'll see you next time Bye bye